welcome back to my channel. I am Love of Fragrance and on this particular channel I produce many videos pertaining to my love of fragrance because I am Love of Fragrances and what I do is review and provide my recommendation to you. I enjoy doing that because of the fact that fragrances are a confusing circumstantial situation and a lot of individuals doesn't recognize that it involves a great deal of testing and there are so many variations of notes and I classify myself as being able to simplify the process so I would appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel and view my videos and you will see exactly what I'm doing on here and I'm sure you will enjoy it. But before I go any further, I want you to understand that this particular video today consists of my love for elegant, warm, fresh, black bottle fragrances. And the reason I said black bottle because I have a few of them that I think that you are going to find very admirable because like I said, they're elegant. You're going to find them admirable because of the fact that I do. I do definitely I love them because of all the luxurious that these bottles are projecting but not only that the content is on the inside of them so without any further ado let's just get into the very first one I have only I think it's a five milliliter and but I love this fragrance I've been using it very sparingly and it's Versace Crystal Noir this is one of the most luxurious exquisite fragrances that the House of Versace has designed and is specifically designed for the passionate woman, exceptionally passionate woman. And it has some exquisitely inspirational notes applied to it because this fragrance was designed by the House of Haute Couture. So honey, you know you're walking around in some couture fragrances when you put this on because this is an EDP. Definitely. This fragrance is for the woman that loves to be or feel passionate, be passionate, inspirational, kind, supportive, it's luxurious in every aspect. Because the fragrance in this bottle right here, honey, the first time I smell it, I just love the fragrances, fell in love all over again. It's so exquisite. This fragrance has an exceptional amount of warm fragrances warm spices applied toward it warm spices that are so luxuriously designed and aligned with all the other notes it has a great deal an exceptional amount of white floral notes applied to it and it has this here allure that's considered stimulating exceptional amount of stewart stimulation applied to this because it also wears the classification of being very exotic exotic and that comes from some of the most luxurious notes in here, which I classify as fresh spices. Fresh spices along with the amber that's calming, exotic, and also very refreshing. I find, I believe that you will find this fragrance very stimulating because it wears the very reputation of being exceptionally very sexy. And since it's very sexy, I'm bringing it to you today because of luxurious of the container and the amount of, of spices and floral notes which generate a very warm, consistent, aromatic aroma with this fragrance because it's very fragrant. It has a pleasing fragrance applied to it. And I haven't attained the large one. This is one of my miniatures, but I thought I would bring it to you anyways today because of the exquisiteness of the container it's in the same design container as the Versace yellow diamond intense see it's a black diamond on top of this fragrance it represents a black diamond and if you can see it very closely if you've ever seen a black diamond which 
I have, <laughs> you will know that this represents and looks identical to a real black diamond. And it's very luxuriously designed, but not only that, it's a very luxurious fragrance, very elegant, and for the woman that deserved to represent herself as being passionate and loving and also very sexy. In other words, this fragrance here has dark and it's called Crystal Noir because it represents black. It's in a black container, but it represents black, but because it's classified as being exotic. But I'm bringing this to you today because of the warm, spicy notes that's applied in this fragrance because that's the subject matter today. Warm spices, black bottle fragrances. And this has all of the categorizations that fits in to that classification. So, honey, I highly recommend Versace Crystal Noir to you. The lovely fragrance. And I would like for you to attain one of these and just sample it. Sample this. Test this fragrance out. Sample it. Honey, I'm sure you'll love it. And also, I have another one here that I know you're going to definitely love because this one is definitely one of my favorites and it happens to be none other than Miss Coco Chanel. Miss Coco Chanel Noir. Again, we have a very luxurious, warm, spicy, black bottle fragrance here for you today. And this fragrance has such a luxurious scent applied to it. Honey, woo! Coco Chanel, this is a classic right here. This is one of the most luxurious, oh, I use that word quite a bit because that's how I feel. Well, let's say elegant. This is one of the most elegant and exquisite fragrances that there was ever designed because, honey, it's a classic. It's a classic. And I highly recommend Miss Chanel Crystal. Oh, I spilled some. Let's get that on me. <laughs> Miss I have to smell it because, honey, you can't go wrong with this fragrance. You just can't. Don't spill it. Don't spill any of it on your out of your container because something like this, this is a classic. We want to wear it like it's a classic. I can keep it around as long as I possibly can. Yes, Miss Chanel Crystal Noir, this here is a 3.4 ounce container. But not only that, it also falls into that category as warm spice fragrances in a black bottle definitely but i chose this one because of all the characteristics that it possessed all of the notes in this fragrance are aligned so that generously and they're aligned and modified in a manner that makes it one of the most exquisite fragrances on the market and you would know you know coco chanel has a large collection of her fragrances and i want you to know i love them all i have never smelled a coco chanel fragrance that i did not fall in love with i recently read an article pertaining to coco chanel nor in a magazine not too long ago and it was i guess an anniversary article pertaining to all of the various fragrances that has been designed by the house of coco chanel classifying this one as being one of their most top sellers, Coco Chanel Noir. And you know what? I believe that. And that Noir, I said again, stands for black. And that's why I'm placing emphasis on black today and it being in a black bottle because I have super fragrances here that wears the name of Noir. So I feel like it needs to, needs to be um, recognized. It needs to be recognized. And that's why I'm bringing it to your attention that these Look how shiny this container happens to be. It's so exquisite. And I love it because of all the exquisiteness that it represents. And also the fragrance. We come to you with Coco Chanel Noir with a warm spice fragrance. But not only that exceptional amount of spices that grants it an exceptional amount of sensuality that also takes you into the citrix of grapefruits. The citrix amount, the citric in this particular fragrance consists of a dominant amount of grape suits that bring to you an exceptional amount of sensuality and then we go right into the floral arrangements that's applied to Coco Chanel and it has an exceptional amount of roses applied to this and white 
jasmines apply to this fragrance, which makes this scent even more dominating. And it's exceptionally elegant, like I said before. And you'll find that not only that, it has an exceptional amount of musky scent applied toward it as well. The majority of these fragrances fall into that category and that makes them very romantic but not only that you move right down into the woody aspects this fragrance has some woody aspects of notes applied toward this as well which makes this fragrance exceptionally pleasurable it's pleasurable to wear and you feel so elegant wearing it because it's not none other than miss coco chanel which i highly recommend to you and i would love for you to attain this fragrance as well as the, the where the, which wears the classification of being warm spice fragrance that you're gonna find so exquisitely divine honey and you're gonna love it and i highly recommend it so attain you some of this as well and moving right along i have another fragrance here that i just highly admire but it has such an unusual fragrance applied to it but it still fall into the category of the subject matter of what we're discussing today and the reason i'm bringing it to you is because of the fact that it falls into that category and look at this container warm spicy black bottle fragrances <laughs> isn't that luxurious oh my god such exquisiteness and sophistication applied to this container right here and not only that this here is con this here is like 3.4 ounces but it doesn't look like it but the bottle is very wide here but it's called signorina signorina mysterioso and they said that that mysterioso stands for young woman because the fragrance based on his classification is designed specifically for a young woman but you know what this young woman loves this fragrance and this young woman is going to wear this fragrance and you know what this young woman is going to recognize that this fragrance is very appropriate for her as well but sorry mrs Salvatore pairing over there. this fragrance smells so lovely and divine oh mysterious so don't forget the name it's very chic. It's a very chic, classic fragrance, almost like Chanel, but a little bit less classy than Chanel. But it's classy and it's designed for a very chic young woman. Emphasis on the chic now because I I think that I could get away with that a little bit too. But not only that is for a young woman, but it's fruity. It has an exceptional amount of warm spice fruity notes applied to this fragrance that also brings in a characteristics of sweetness. I'm not spraying my fragrances my mystifying them all through the air like that anymore. And if I don't I just put me some Coco Chanel on and that's all I'm putting on today. But this right here is sweet, sweet, sweet. Honey, you don't even have to take the cap off of this fragrance before you f smell the aroma. It's very powerful. It's very penetratable. It penetrates throughout the air, honey, and it leaves such an exquisite aroma applied to your body. And it also completes the process of the notes with an exceptional amount of sweet vanilla because it has a sweet aroma applied toward this mm. and it also falls into that category of white floral notes and it's a signature senorita type fragrance because it comes from the house of it's a Salvatore Farragoma edition, and I want to make it very clear to you that this signature fragrance in itself, this here will be the last edition. Okay, this comes from the fragrance brand of Mr. Salvatore Farragoma, and it falls in the category of mini editions of the Salvatore Farragoma signature um, Mistoria Signorina, but this is Mistoria here, and Mistoria Mysteriosa Mysteriosa will be the very last edition. That's what I want you to understand. It comes from many editions, but this is the very last one that he's going to design in that particular category. So, honey, you better stock up on them or snatch them up or whatever you have to do to attain this fragrance because this is a very lovely and exquisitely designed fragrance. And also, it comes to you with an exceptional amount of balsamic notes as well. 
which established that signorina aroma that's penetrating from this fragrance, which which they named Mysteriosa because it's so unique and so different and influential over the overall fragrance itself. I smell and detect some orange blossoms penetrating from here, but it has a musky scent also, but yet still it has a great deal of spiciness to it. It smells like orange spices. I love it. And I think that it also has an exceptional amount of patchouli applied to this. This here is a very timeless, very modern fragrance. And I classify this as falling into the category as being a nighttime fragrance, evening fragrance, going into the dust of dawn, and you carrying it all out through the, throughout the for, in, entire night. I classify it as being an evening fragrance that you can wear anytime after night in the nighttime after evening dust dawn whatever you want to call it i classify it as being it's appropriate for evening wear it's designed for evening wear but honey i can't smell the nozzle so well let me get a little bit more all these different scents <laughs> honey sometimes i feel like i'm floating <laughs> i feel like i'm floating sometimes Yes, that's definitely patchouli and the orange blossoms and the, it didn't say woody, but I would say fresh spicy notes and a exceptional amount of muskiness applied to this to generate this fragrance and establish them in such an alignment that makes them more obvious and detectable and it's very, very powerful, but yet it still is attractive to wear and it has an attractive appearance to the container and it's an attractive fragrance it's a very lovely fragrance and it's very appropriate for a woman <laughs> a woman that loves to smell exquisitely lovely lovely at all times because it has an exceptional amount of longevity applied to this and i'm sure you will enjoy this fragrance as well so i highly recommend mr salvatore senorita Mim Myster mysterioso to you <laughs> Um, get you some. Um, moving right along, I have another fragrance here I want to bring to you that I I love also, and it's by one of the most luxurious fragrance designers that there are. But before we get into that, look at this beautiful container. Oh my God! Just look at that. It has a little tassel around it, and look at that exquisitely shiny blackness applied to it. And this happens to be also fall into the category of warm, spicy fragrances. Warm, spicy fragrances in a black bottle. And this is a glass container, and this is 3.4 ounces. And this fragrance happens to come from the house of fragrances of Mr. Tom Ford. Yes. Tom Ford is written right there on the container and I'm happy to bring this fragrance to you because I love me some Tom Ford but this one here happens to be Black Orchid. Black Orchid and it's a lovely fragrance but it's also happens to be Tom Ford Woman Fragrance and it's an Oriental Floral Fragrance and the creator of this fragrance happens to be Mr. David Appel. Yes, the aroma of this fragrance is designed with some of the most luxurious bouquet of roses and floral elements applied to this, which makes it this establish which establishes a component of some of the most luxurious notes that you can attain in a particular fragrance. It's very sensual. Let's just apply a little bit of this to my body on this hand oh I can't hardly get it out it's kind of watery I find it to be watery let's oh what how can I do this let's rub it in here mm, mm, mm. it's different it's so different you know what when you first put it on this fragrance here requires some dry down it has to have some dry down before the notes exactly the warm spicy notes originate themselves into a very calming fragrant fragrance and the fragrance itself smells exceptionally bright exceptionally bright when i say bright i'm talking about it penetrates like an explosion poof it just pops up in your face 
and it smells like squishily lovely, but it has an exceptional amount of citric applied toward this as well. I'm not sure, well, how they are aligned exactly, but the citric notes establish such a magnificent fragrance with this particular fragrance. And when it dries down on you, it's exceptionally light. It comes off very bold, but then it dries very light. And I guess it's classified for women because it isn't one of those there fragrances that just explode. That's exceptionally powerful, but yet it has the citric and the white flowers originating themselves in there. And as they originate themselves in there, it goes into this here a rich oak accords that create this luxurious sensual aroma that's very enticing. I need some more of this because it's really light. This one, mm, I can smell it, but you know what I smell in here a great deal of? I smell a great deal of citric that smells almost like it has a lot, great deal of lemon in it. A lemon applied toward it would transfers over to a exceptional amount. It smells like majorin, and then it has the white flowers, which are like smell like gardenias and jasmine, and it also has a smell like a little bit of animal wildlife applied to it, and it has such an unusual you know, a fragrance, a scent applied toward this fragrance. And then you go in and you find, then I, I think the base notes consist of a great deal of truffles. Yes. And it has almost like a gourmand spice to it, which also has an exceptional amount of vanilla and some chocolate, dark chocolate aroma, and some musk that makes it very unique and different. Very unique and different because of the exotic. The spices in here are not just common, unique, I mean, standard spices, but it's an exceptional amount of unique, um, exotic spices in this particular fragrance, which I find an admiration for, I have a love for, and I find very appealing, and it's too light for me. Honey, I love a boom, a fragrance with an exceptional amount of power an explosion to it, something that I can also turn my head and get a swift of and appreciate the aroma that's penetrating from my body. But I can understand why they classify this fragrance as this is also an afternoon, after an evening, and afternoon, nighttime fragrance that's very, very, very sexual as well. I've said because because it has an exceptional amount of sensuality applied to it, and I can understand that because a lot of times when women go out late in the evening, they're dressed very formal for a very exquisite formal occasion. They might not have on an exceptional amount of attire because I classify this, of course, as being a winter fragrance. As a matter of fact, all of these fall into that category. But getting back to this particular fragrance, I want you to understand that when you go out to a formal occasion and you don't have an exceptional amount of attire and you have your fragrance directly attached to your skin and you aren't covering up your body at all and it has seeped into your pores, you want it to penetrate, not to the point where it's offensive or irritating toward anyone else but you want it to be affluent enough where you, anyone getting close to you can attain that aroma and appreciate it and this a fragrance appear to be designed specifically for that like if you're out and you're dancing close and arm to arm or you're sitting at a very luxurious formal occasion like a you're at an orchestra or you're at a play, a performance or something, I want you to understand, you want your fragrance to perform for you as well. And this is exactly what this Mr. Tom Ford has designed in this particular fragrance. It puts on a performance. It sits quietly on your body, but it it penetrates softly and delicate to the point it just gives you like a little whiff, a little whiff, a little whiff of scent a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, but it's very attractive, very alluring, and very appreciative and very detectable. But it's, I would say this is more like a silent scent to me. I might be wrong, but that's what I'm getting. 
Maybe I just have too much stuff going on right now. I don't know, but I love it and you will too. But not only that, this particular fragrance comes to you with a great deal of sensuality applied to it, which makes it kind of sweet. And it's aromatic, aromatic because it flows exceptionally, but it also has an exceptional amount of sweetness applied to it, which grants it, I guess in a way what I'm saying, it sits on your body quite because it's very calming. It's calming and yet and still it's warm. It has an exceptional amount of uh, like a little bit of powdery notes applied to it, but it has an exceptional amount of spicy notes applied to it as well. And you get the warm, spicy notes with this fragrance, but they are highly detectable. So I want you to know that this here is Animal Wildlife fragrance. Also, scents and notes applied to this, but they're light. Everything about this fragrance is soft, it's delicate, it's un intimidating and unoffensive in any way but it's definitely gets the job done because it appear it appeals to your occasion and most occasions after hours if they're really 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 um exquisite occasions they're going to be formal occasions and that's what you get with this particular fragrance an exceptional exquisitely designed fragrance that can be worn for formal occasions without any irritation or any offensive toward anyone else that will also be very beneficial to you as you wear this fragrance it's going to be substantial and it's going to be very appreciated by yourself as it as it allures itself from your body and whomever detect this fragrance on your body and is entertained by this particular fragrance going to find it very luxuriously elegant and they're gonna love this fragrance on you so I highly recommend to you mr. Tom Ford black orchid honey you will love it and you will not go wrong with mr. Tom Ford black orchid or mr. Salvatore Ferragoma Signorita Mysteriosa or mrs. Coco Chanel Noir or Mr. Versace Christanor. Highly recommend all four of these fragrances, honey. Get you some and enjoy them. Have a nice evening.